Hey, Stavi, Elvis, whichever guest. Hope this gets answered on the Patreon exclusive. Make us pay for the good life advice. That's right, bro. You're I'm 41 lucky. 41 years old on the East Coast. I'm three more years away from my pension. Hell yeah, I'm a dude. lifelong electrical worker. Shout out to the IBEW. Shout and out to the I love. We've been together for over six years. When I was 39, I had a heart attack. Oh, fuck. Put a real fucking scare into me, you know? I had everything I needed, and I risked cutting it short because of fucking White Castle. <laughs> so I decided to start getting my fat ass in order so I could live long enough to enjoy my life. I love that. Since my heart attack, I really committed to living healthier. I've been working out. I eat healthy. I cut out the sugar and booze, and I'm looking and feeling better than I did in high school. My only problem is, now that I'm looking good, my girl is acting jealous and keeps thinking I'm mm. out cheating on her, and it's making my fucking home life toxic. Very interesting. One of my woman's friends will start texting me out of nowhere, wanting to hang out with just me. I tell my girl, fuck their friendship. She tells me that was a test to see if I'm still loyal. Oh, about. no. <laughs> wow, this might be the rare reverse of the call we always get. Because, Tommy, one, one of the big motifs of this podcast <laughs> yeah. is a fat piece of shit that loses weight in his, like, 50s or 40s. Yeah. And, and like... Is like, well, now I have to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this could just be the most, he's laid the most groundwork for that out of anyone. But from his voice, he sounds like he does it. Let's, let's hear him out. But this is the rare, like, we very rarely get the flip side of this. And he's a patron of Stavi's world, so he a, has a good head on this show. He's shoulders. a patron and a good union man who's put all his time in at the IBEW. He's, good he's got a good, yeah, this is a guy. And, and you can, and legitimately, not to be corny, but his voice is that of like, he has an honest way about yeah. speaking and there's no hemming and hawing. All those other guys are so like, it's like a little kid asking for candy they know they're not <laughs> supposed to have. They're like, they never get to the point, but this guy's very direct. Anyway. Well, it seems every few months, whenever my girl's going through her own insecurity or some fucking TikTok puts brain worms into her, <laughs> I deal with some BS test set up to try and catch me cheating. I love this woman. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Cheating hasn't really been a thought for me. I love her, but I am too old for this shit. Absolutely. Just because I got healthy at middle age doesn't mean I want to leave her for the hostess she thinks I smiled at for too long. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do I diffuse her insecurities and calm the shit down so I can coast into retirement with the person I love? Thanks, folks. I can wow. answer this one easy. Get fat again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's happy. It's looking at you right in the face, bro. <laughs> looking at just you know what I mean. Couple maybe it doesn't have to be White Castle. You know, step it up. <laughs> you could eat more, better. You know, but yeah, that is that is the the easiest solution. I, yeah, That's I also, come up with this plan where you look yeah, like shit. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever worried Tommy's, about you. <laughs> Tommy's ready to settle down, folks. <laughs> Tommy's already put the first part into place. He's just waiting for the woman who loves him more than anything in the world now. Step two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this is very difficult because I truly believe him. And I didn't consider this. And it's also, I got to say, this would fucking feel bad to me because it would mean the, the person you loved... Like, because you hear this all the time for people that lose weight, that they, a thing that's very depressing to them is how bad they used to get treated by society for yes, being fat, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's one thing if it's a random person, mm -hmm. but this guy's kind of figuring out that the person he loves saw him that way. Yeah. The person he loves more than anything saw, sees his value as much higher now because he's healthy. That would be the thing that would piss me off after I did a little math, right? Like, look, is this annoying? Yes, yeah. right? But I do think there is some, like, you could go to couples counseling about this. You could just say it to her. You could continue to act in a way that's like, hey, if you ever do this, like, like you just make it clear that her behavior, although if someone's really insane about this, they won't be like, you need to understand if you keep treating me this way or if you keep testing my loyalty, it's not that I want to cheat, but I can't be in a relationship. Like, like you just have to stop doing this. This make this is fucking bad. And maybe she could figure it out. But I think, worst case, you could go to fucking couples counseling about it. But what underlies all of that is like, she, yes, she's clearly insecure. But that would really fucking hurt my feelings if it meant like, wait, you fucking thought I was 
you think I'm better now? You're my fucking Yeah, I didn't even wife. think of it that way. Yeah. You're not even, like, it's one thing if, like, somebody I knew, just, but it's like, that would piss me off. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, though, I don't know, you know. Well, it sounds like she's just, like, spiraling, like, even if it's, yeah, like a society thing or not based in reality. So she yeah. just needs to, yeah. It's just all on her mind. If you haven't done this already, which he probably has, right? Yeah, but let's yeah. just let's just cover our bases here and say um, a big part of, like, in a lot of instances is plainly saying how you feel and what you need, right? That's step one, if you haven't done that already. Because I could also see it, him not doing it, right? I could also see it being kind of natural to, like, when, when your partner's, like, says shit like this, be like, what are you talking about? Like being so annoyed that you don't ever just clearly state it. So if you haven't done it, just say, hey, this actually, I don't really appreciate how you are, you don't trust me anymore because I got it. Because, by the way, this isn't even a guy who lost weight out of nowhere. That would even be, you could kind of understand. He got a heart attack. He had a fucking heart attack. (laughs) If I'm you, I'm saying, hey, I don't appreciate the fact that when I was faced with a health emergency and the idea that I wouldn't get to spend the rest of my life with you, I made hard choices and changes into my into my life, lifestyle changes, so that I could be around for the rest of our lives. And the way you're treating me because of that is to now I'm no I'm not a different person and now you're treating me as if I'm suspicious. That that doesn't make me feel good. That makes me feel like taking for granted and that you have we your own insecurities to deal with. You ha- you can't keep bringing this up. I don't want to cheat on you. I love you. I want to. S- the reason I lost this weight is so that I could have a longer life with you. But the more you behave like this, the more it makes me feel bad. And I, you know, I can't do this forever. This is something you have to figure out. And I want to work through this with you. But it is something we have to deal with. And that's you have to make that. You have to, to kind of state that plainly. You have to set up a boundary. And then it, you know, hopefully she doesn't cross it hopefully she takes your word for it but and i do think for that reason it's like offering to help somehow maybe maybe it is counseling maybe it's whatever maybe she wants to work on on her own but like there's only so much you can do if you say that you know or you could just fucking you know if she really keeps fucking asking for it you could get some fucking head on the sneak (laughs) give her a taste of her own medicine you made me do this. You, you made me do bitch. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <See>? good advice. <laughs> <laughs>